Hello everyone, today we will be talking about Deoldify. Deoldify blog is also available on medium.com. So let's get started. Deoldify is a method for colorizing and restoring old black and white photographs. To colorize the image, Deoldify applies scan architecture. It con contains a color generator for the discriminator with the objective of criticizing the coloring generated by the generator. It proposed the no GAN training approach, which is specified form of GAN training period. First of all, we'll discuss what actually GAN is. It was utilized in the old version of the old FI and stands for Generative Adversal Network. These are GAN neural network, which contain a repetitive conversation between both the generator and the discriminator. GAN is of two types, the generator and the discriminator. What generator does is it tries to build fake or originals from the scratch and uh, the purpose of discriminator is it tries to determine whether the submitted images is actual or fake. And what no GAN is, no GAN creates images that are more colorable and reliable. In this architecture, the focus decided to move away from grad training and towards separate pre-training for the generator and discriminator. First of all, we'll run this Google Collab Notebook. It has the GitHub uh, code available. Click on that. After that, it will start cloning the deoldify. Then, we'll from deoldify, we'll import device and then import device ID and import torch. Then, we have to um, run some requirements related to the deoldify. After running that, there is another code for that. We have to import FastEye. It's a library used that with the help of FastEye, we'll be able to use Deoldify. From Deoldify, visualize import, import warnings, etc. And after that, import models for generating color artistic images. After that, we have the another column. In this, we have given source URL, render factor, watermark, and in source URL, we have to give our own custom images source URL. As I've provided, it is an image of an old person. It's in black and white. It's given in black and white. And it is showing the result. The picture is colorized and it looks really realistic. When we are done with this, we'll be moving forward towards rendering the actual image. Actually, with the help of rendering, what happens? It creates a realistic image. It has created, we can see, at render 10, the image looks actual. It has a good color contraction, as we can see. And in render 12, we can see the person is looking really bright, fair. And in render 14, the person is looking red from his cheeks, as we can see. And in 16, there is some sort of color correction again done. In render 18, we can see we are not able to pictureize the person in the picture. So with the help of rendering, it is able to create actual images by balancing the color contraction. In this blog, I've given many input. We can see the deoldify deep learning colorizes and repair photos with amazing results. I've talked about here Meena Kumari. Look at her. At uh, In these old pictures, we can see it is black and white. We are not able to see her makeup and the outfit she's wearing. And after using deoldify, we can see her makeup, the actual dress she's wearing. Then there is a girl wearing traditional clothes. It is also given in black and white. And here the girl is wearing colorful clothes. We can see a the actual color of the cloth. Then I've also worked on video images, video clips. Here it is from a movie clip from Chan, and we are able to see the characters in a colorful picture. And after that, what technology has been used behind this Deoldify is UNET and Resnet 34. What UNET is? The UNET is a convolution neural network designed for image segmentation 
which is a fast and efficient way it's being used to derive the image factors the mask of an object in an image will be predicted by unet what resna 34 is it is a 34 layer convolution neural network it is a model that has been pre-trained on the image net database it has around 1 lakh images in 200 different categories and on the decoder side the model combine a ResNet 34 architecture with UNET. Talking about the deoldifies approach, we can reimagine the reality by adding color to historical images and video recordings that were previously available in monochromatic form. For each of its generator models, the oldify uses custom units with pre-trained ResNet backbones. On the decoder side, talking about the decoder side, the model includes a ResNet 34 backbone as a unit with a focus on its layers depth. And uh, it is also trained using NOGAN on five critical pre-trained GAN cycle repetitions. Uh, T-Oldify employs GAN, which are based on the repetition interaction of two neural network. First one is the generator, and the second one is the discriminator. Colors are brought to life by this GAN spa and uh, generator paints colors on the recognized items they trained on, while discriminator tries to criticize the color choice. The Oldify is based on fast AI library, as I talked earlier, which gives deep learning developers extra power and optimization. Thank you.